142 unit development, all affordable, comprised of two buildings. To my left, the former police station will be demolished and we will be building a five story, 98 unit building. On this site here will be a 44 unit building to the back of us. And where we are will be a, a pocket park for our residents as well as city of Manchester residents to utilize. In the Manchester primary market area, there are approximately 25,000 renter households. And of those renter households, nearly half pay more than 30% of their income towards rent and are considered rent overburdened. Residents at Chestnut will provide much needed relief to these residents. Of the 142 units in the development, 106 units will be set aside for folks earning 60% median income. That's folks earning $35,000 to $60,000 annually. Presently, there's very limited housing stock available for affordable persons in Manchester. They're living in market rate rental units. And folks who earn $40,000 a year who have to pay $20,000 to $25,000 annually for rent, you can see our strapped for necessities in life. Groceries, prescriptions, buying school supplies for their kids. So this is a much needed development that we're gonna provide here. In addition to the 60% median income units, we're gonna have 36 units with project-based vouchers. 30 of those project-based vouchers are units that are set aside for our veteran community. We're excited to be able to work and provide that to our veterans. It truly takes a team effort for an affordable development like ours to become a reality. It's a collaboration of private, municipal, state, federal agencies that help make this possible. I do want to recognize the support, leadership, and vision of Mayor Craig, who helped with this much needed affordable development to become a reality. I want to thank the City of Manchester Board of Aldermen, Housing Commission, Planning and Community Development Department, Planning and Zoning Boards, and the Manchester VA Medical Center. The New Hampshire Housing Finance Authority, as well as the New Hampshire Department of Business and Economic Affairs, who are providing financing, ARPA funds to this development, and quite honestly, a development of this size wouldn't occur without their support and their financial contribution. I also want to recognize our development team, who has worked with me over the past 20 months, our architectural firm, Market Square Architects, Civil Engineers, Fuss and O'Neill, Landscape Architects, Copley Wolf, and our legal team, Sheen Finney and Nixon Peabody. Last but not least, Rob Furest here out there, Boston Financial and TD Bank, who are providing the equity uh, for this development to help make it affordable. It is truly a privilege to be welcomed as a member of the Manchester community. As a member of the community, our efforts don't start or end with just creating housing. We recognize it is critical to provide the services and the amenities to the community and those in need to provide them a hand up. If I could have Rob, Dan, um, and the folks um, come up with me here for a presentation. One organization which has exemplified these services and helped to empower those in need right here in the Manchester community is Families in Transition. Their commitment to provide supportive services through a range of programs such as emergency housing shelter and food programs have helped tackle the complex problem of homelessness. Maria Delvin, their president and CEO is here with us today in support of FIT's mission and to show our appreciation for your continued efforts here in Manchester, on behalf of Lincoln Avenue Communities, Sheen Finney, Market Square Architecture, PC Construction, and Boston Financial, we would like to present you with a donation check of $10,000. Thank <laughs> you. 
Thank you so much. On days like today, we actually can feel what it's like to be outside. Um, and a lot of our community members um, are suffering right now. Um, Families in Transition is honored to be here this morning and incredibly grateful for Lincoln Avenue Communities contribution from them and the partners you just saw here earlier. Families in Transition is driven to pre prevent and break the cycle of homelessness. We have 26 buildings across New Hampshire, the majority of which are here in the city of Manchester, and the majority of those are for stabilized housing for the low income. We are proud to support the groundbreaking of residences at Chestnut because the need for affordable housing is great and we welcome partners like Lincoln Avenue Communities to be part of Manchester's housing plan. As we all know, it takes a whole community to support its most vulnerable residents. These new units of affordable housing will go a long way in supporting Manchester's housing needs. Thanks so much. Okay, enough with me. Uh, at this point, we have five speakers planned, and we'll have remarks from representatives of Congressman Pappas, Senator Hassan, and Senator Shaheen, followed by remarks from Natasha uh, with New Hampshire Housing Finance Authority, uh, Kevin Forrest at the Manchester VA Medical Center, Mayor Craig, and Tom Amdur with Lincoln Avenue Communities. So if I could have Nick, uh, Carrie, and Gage step up. Hi, I'm, my name's Nick. I'm with Senator Shaheen's office. The senator unfortunately couldn't make it, but she did uh, provide a letter uh, for me to read for you today. On behalf of the senator, dear friends, I wish I could be with you in person for today's groundbreaking ceremony for the residents at Chestnut. Please know that I join in spirit as we celebrate this progress in offering affordable housing to residents of the Queen City. Thank you to Lincoln Avenue communities, City of Manchester officials, and everyone else gathered here today for all of your work in this meaningful effort. It is imperative that we work towards giving each and every Granite Stater a comfortable place to call home. By improving the housing landscape in Manchester, we are only pushing ourselves closer to this goal. You all understand that accessible housing options are an important piece of a thriving community in a diverse and resilient economy. And you know that community development comes a little easier when citizens are finally able to enjoy the security of a stable home. Each of these affordable units at the residence at Chestnut will provide this feeling of stability for every family who resides in them. The progress that we celebrate today should encourage us to continue our efforts in giving all New Hampshire residents a safe, decent, and affordable home. Thank you again to everyone here today who turned this vision behind this project into an exciting reality. I wish you all the best as you continue your meaningful work. Sincerely, Senator Jean Sheen. everyone and good morning. My name is Carrie Zach here from Senator Hassan's office. The senator is in Washington but sent me with a message to read on her behalf. Dear friends, I regret that I cannot be with you today but I join you in celebrating the groundbreaking of the residences at Chestnut. The residences at Chestnut groundbreaking is an exciting development for Manchester and New Hampshire. As Granite Staters know well, for too long, our state has contended with a housing shortage, making it difficult for many Granite Staters to find a place to live, which in turn has undermined the ability of businesses to attract and build the workforce that they need. Simply put, we cannot build a better future for our state if people cannot afford to live here. Developments like the residences at Chestnut with 142 affordable units mark an important step forward for Manchester families, local businesses, and the region's economy. I look forward to supporting more projects like this one and am committed to working across party lines to help expand access to housing. 
All families deserve to have an affordable place to call home. Thank you to everyone here today for your commitment to this critical project. I look forward to continuing to work together to ensure that New Hampshire remains a great place to work, live, and raise a family. With every good wish, Margaret Woodhouse and United States Senator. Thank you all. Good morning, everyone. My name is Gage Wheeler, and I'm with the Office of Congressman Chris Pappas. And I have a letter to share here. Dear friends, congratulations on today's groundbreaking ceremony for the residences at Chestnut Development. While I regret not being able to join you all in person, I would like to express my thanks to Lincoln Avenue Communities for the tremendous work they have undertaken. By involving local stakeholders and community groups across the Queen City in its construction process, LAC ensured open communication and coordination with city residents would remain a guiding principle for this project. Thanks to the essential feedback received from residents and community organizations, the residences at Chestnut will address the lack of low-cost sustainable housing for New Hampshire's workforce while simultaneously creating 30 living spaces for veterans and their families, utilizing Veterans Affairs supported housing, rental assistance vouchers. This development comes at an important time as Manchester works to provide its growing workforce with housing that accommodates all budgets and lifestyles. With 100 properties across the nation serving over 50,000 residents, LAC has taken the success of its nationwide approach and focused its efforts here in the Granite State to address the lack of low-cost, sustainable housing. As a proud member of the House Veterans Affairs Committee, I am excited to see housing focused on serving the needs of our veterans, and I will continue to advocate on their behalf in Washington. I look forward to seeing this project completed and serving the people of Manchester, and I wish you all the best in the years to come. Sincerely, Chris Pappas, Member of Congress. Thank you. Natasha, I am just Natasha here. I know you are here. You got out of the meeting. Come on up. This is just a precaution. Hi, good morning, everyone. Uh, my name is Natasha Doby. I am the director of Planning and Resources at New Hampshire Housing Finance Authority, and I'm happy to be here on behalf of uh, New Hampshire Housing and the Multifamily Housing Division. Um, our Executive Director, Rob Dappas, extends his regrets of not being able to attend, um, but is very pleased about the project and our ability to be involved and support it. Um, so we're pleased to be here to support the creation of 142 units of high quality affordable housing, which will provide much needed apartments in downtown Manchester. Thank you to Scott, Ted, and the rest of the team at Lincoln Ave Capital for taking on this project that will not only provide the affordable housing, but will also help to revitalize uh, downtown area. The financing for this project is provided by several key funding sources. Many people were, as Scott talked about, uh, supported this project and provided financing. Residents at Chestnut would not be possible without the Federal Low Income Housing Tax Credit Program. That's the largest, largest program across the United States to develop affordable housing, and the Heritage Housing administers that program. It will provide over $27 million in equity to develop the project. Other New Hampshire housing funding includes loans for construction and long-term debt, as well as no interest deferred payment loans. Additionally, two special housing programs will support the operations of the project through the allocation of 30 Veteran Affairs Supportive Housing Rental Assistance Vouchers, known as VASH, uh, for the project, along with six project-based rental vouchers for uh, the rental assistance. Finally, I'd like to acknowledge Tom Krebs of our developed team, who's wave Tom to everybody. Uh, he took the lead on the team. He's a project man manager for this project and is working closely with Ted and Scott to get the project underway and completed. We look forward to the completion of construction of this terrific project and celebrating with you all at the ribbon cutting. Thank you. Thank you, Natasha. Also, my sincere thanks to you and to Tom, to Rob Dappis, uh, Ignatius McClellan, uh, Jim Menahane, um, your asset management staff. Uh, they all deserve some acknowledgement here in the hard work they did to get us where we are today. Mayor Craig, um, I'm sorry, Joy, uh, Kevin, Kevin Forrest, I skipped on the uh, agenda here. Kevin Forrest, the Medical Center, VA New England Healthcare System.
Well, good morning, everybody. It's my honor to be here for the groundbreaking of the residences at Chestnut. You know, I was thinking here uh, today, you know, in frigid temperatures, in years past, many of with, uh, with you here in the audience, we've gone out and done this point in time count here uh, in Manchester. And I can think of a couple years ago, on a very frigid evening, I think it was minus 20 degrees out here. And I can tell you at two in the morning, it's very humbling to be out on the streets of Manchester and, uh, and uh, you know, working with our homeless veterans and just homeless citizens of, of Manchester. And again, just humbling. And I think, you know, projects like this are so important to prevent anybody from having to endure those harsh conditions over and over. And so, so thank you. You know, as I look to each of you, I see all of us here joining together to prevent veteran homelessness. Each veteran is our collective responsibility, and together we are making a difference for veterans and their families with housing. So the Department of Veterans Affairs is taking nationwide action to end veteran homelessness along with community partners such as Lincoln Avenue Communities. So we want to place at least 38,000 veterans experiencing homelessness into permanent housing and ensure 95% of those housed in 2023 do not return to homelessness. Additionally, VA is engaging with at least 28,000 unsheltered veterans, those who have a primary nighttime location that typically not a place where individuals sleep, you know, such as parks and streets or vehicles. Our homeless program mission is to ensure veterans and their families obtain permanent and sustainable housing with access to supportive services that are veteran-centered, equitable, and lead to personal empowerment. The VA Supported Housing BASH program, which is a joint project between the VA and the Department of Housing and Urban Development, or HUD-VASH as we know it, assists with independent subsidized housing. So we are grateful for our long-standing relationship with the New Hampshire Housing Finance Authority and appreciate their consistent support to our hud -Vash team over the past 12 years in helping VA Manchester provide veterans with a place to call home. So thanks to the collaborative efforts of community partners, we established 30 units for veterans and their families with the New Hampshire Housing Finance Authority and Lincoln Avenue communities. So this project is beneficial to the veterans and their families, especially our aging veterans, as the apartments will have elevator access to live safely and independently for a longer period. Veterans can establish a veteran community, increasing socialization, as well as close proximity to the VA in Manchester, amenities, and transportation. These veterans and their families will not have to use the word homeless as the residents at Chestnut but they now can use the word hopeful. So VA Manchester's hud -Vash team are with the veterans every step of the way by providing healthcare services that include social work, peer support, and nursing case management, improving the quality and speed of delivery of services, and decreasing Granite State homelessness. So thank you to our community partners for their heartfelt and dedicated support of veterans and their families Welcome home to Lincoln Avenue communities and to the future Hut Vash veteran tenants and their families. So for the veterans with us today, thank you for your service to our country and God bless the United States of America. So thank you. Thank you, Kevin. Also, thank you to Tracy Noonan, who's worked with us uh, over the past 16 months to getting us where we are today. Um, and now, Mayor Craig. Good morning, it's such a pleasure to be here with all of you. Today, we're taking a huge step forward in increasing affordable housing here in the city of Manchester. The residences at Chestnut will be the, one of the largest private affordable housing developments in New Hampshire's history. It will add 142 new units of housing that will be affordable for everyone, from our teachers to our retail employees and restaurant staff 
and to individuals who are currently without a home. This project has been years in the making, and I want to thank everyone who played a role in bringing it over the finish line. Scott Shaw from Lincoln Ave Capital, Rob Daffis and Ignatius McClellan uh, from New Hampshire Housing Finance Authority, our Director of Planning and Community Development, Jeff Belanger, and all of your teams deserve a huge round of applause. <laughs> Moving forward a project of this scale isn't easy, and you've all worked tirelessly to bring us to this point where today we are breaking ground on this historic project. I'm particularly excited about Lincoln Ave Capital's commitment to our veterans. As you heard of the 142 units uh, that we're breaking ground on today, 30 will be reserved for veterans. And right on site, they'll receive wraparound services and case management provided by Manchester VA. And all of the residents here will be eligible for services by NeighborWorks Southern New Hampshire, another invaluable player in meeting the housing needs of communities across the region. In addition to an unprecedented in investment by New Hampshire Housing, the city of Manchester has invested over $7 million in federal funds into this project. It will not only bring much needed affordable, affordable housing to our downtown, but it will completely transform this neighborhood. Lincoln Ave is working with local artists to incorporate public art into their designs, as well as new green spaces. And soon, instead of abandoned buildings and empty parking lots, this corner will be home to three new apartment buildings teeming with life. Throughout my time as mayor, I've allocated over $18 million to developing affordable housing right here in the city of Manchester. And we're starting to see those investments take shape. And this is just the beginning. Lincoln Ave is also planning to develop the property across the street, adding an additional 44 units of affordable housing, meeting the needs of so many residents that are struggling to make ends meet. Having access to safe, affordable housing is the number one priority for residents across our state. And I'm proud that Manchester is leading the way. This project really is a shining example of what can be possible when private developers, local and state government, nonprofits, and really the entire community band together for the greater good. I again want to thank everyone for being here today and everyone who played a part in making this project possible. It is really great to be here celebrating this groundbreaking. Thank you. Thank you, Mayor. I also want to give a sincere thanks to Michael Landry. Without his work, we certainly wouldn't be here. Um, and I, I really appreciate everything Michael's done for us as well. I do want to say thank you uh, to the Manchester Police Department and the Fire Department who are here um, and their support that they've given us um, throughout this process and most recently, so thank you. Tom Amdur, Senior Vice President, Policy and Impact, Lincoln Avenue Communities. Tom. Thank you, Scott, and congratulations. Uh, as we were driving around this morning, I was reflecting on just my personal connection to Manchester. Uh, I grew up a couple of hours away from here, uh, but I have a family that lives up in Plymouth. So we spent a lot of Friday evenings and Saturday mornings in ski season uh, driving up I-93 on our way. Uh, we would stop in Manchester a lot of the time for you know dinner or for lunch or just to stretch our legs and just thinking about what this community was like 25, 30 years ago and how uh, much great uh, economic development and how it's grown and thrived uh, in, in recent years. It, it's really pretty amazing to be able to contribute to uh, the next part of that uh, evolution. So on a personal note, I'm just uh, so pleased to have a small part in contributing to uh, some of this development downtown and, and the work that we're uh, able to do here at Lincoln Avenue Communities. Um, when I think about what this means for our organization, uh, this is a really significant milestone for our company. It's our first uh, ground up development in New Hampshire uh, and the first of what we hope will be many. Um, we've just 
want to celebrate and thank all the amazing partners that have already uh, been acknowledged here today, but uh, Mayor Craig and uh, Maria Devlin with Families in Transition and the whole NHF at New Hampshire Housing Finance Agency team and, and Kevin and the Manchester VA and, and NeighborWorks. Uh, you know, this is really reflective, uh, this type of team, this type of local partnership is really reflective of our values as an organization and why we want to continue to do work here in, in New Hampshire. We're a mission-driven uh, organization and we're committed first and foremost to providing high quality affordable housing uh, to the people that need it most and the communities that need it most. Now Manchester, it's a wonderful community. We've uh, already heard uh, some of the great things that have happened from, uh, from, Mayor, uh, from Mayor Craig. Uh, it's a place that, uh, you know, it's an economic hub for the region and really for northern New England. Uh, it's a place that people want to live uh, because there's opportunity uh, and access to not just uh, jobs, but also uh, easy access to nature and, and other things that make it really valuable. Uh, over the last couple of years, that's been reflected in the rising cost of housing here as well. So uh, yesterday, the Federal Housing Finance Agency published its quarterly uh, housing uh, cost index and uh, the state of New Hampshire actually ranked third in the highest increase in housing costs in the country. Uh, just reflect on that uh, a little bit. Um, you know, over the last, uh, I got the, the stats here because I think it really talks about the impact of what we're doing here. Uh, over the past 10 years, housing costs uh, have increased by 10% across the state and 75% over the last five years. And a lot of that is driven by the economic activity uh, in Hillsborough County and here in, in, here in Manchester. So. Uh, Providing high quality affordable housing here uh, is, really, uh, is really meaningful. And uh, Scott mentioned this a little bit about sort of what the economic impact is for the residents that are gonna live here. Uh, but think about it. Um, we did a market analysis that we just updated the other day uh, just to make sure we gave you all correct numbers. Um, the residents that will be living in our community here when it opens its doors in, in I guess, uh, 2025, they're gonna be saving at least $1,000 a month in rent compared to market rate opportunities for living in, uh, as you've seen the renderings and, and seen the description, living in really truly high quality housing. You think about what that means for the impact to somebody you know, who's making, you know, as, as Scott said, 40 to $60,000 a year. That's being able to save uh, for your kid's college. That's being able to save for retirement, to uh, be able to take care of those unexpected expenses that crop up, your car breaks down, et cetera, uh, and not being put in a vulnerable situation where you might be uh, uh, unhoused as a result of the things that happen in everybody's life. That's, that's incredibly meaningful, and we're really proud to do that work here. And uh, as has been acknowledged by the, the previous speakers as well, uh, providing housing is just the beginning. Um, you know, we're really committed to providing meaningful services that meet the needs of our residents and the surrounding community. And all the great partners that we're working with here, uh, particularly in the veteran community who've given so much to our country already, uh, I mean, that, that's, that's really special to our organization and it, it really drives the work that we do. Uh, housing, affordable housing is really a foundation for uh, building a successful life and, and we want to be there as an organization to find meaningful ways to help our residents and surrounding community meet those, uh, you know, meet their, meet their life goals. Uh, and, and we're gonna see that here at Residence of Chestnut Place. Uh, I, I also just wanted to take a moment to acknowledge uh, the support of our congressional delegation uh, that was represented here earlier today. Um, you know, we're really committed to affordable housing advocacy uh, here in New Hampshire and across the country and on Capitol Hill as well. Uh, and expanding access to the programs like the Low Income Housing Tax Credit and multifamily private activity bonds uh, that are going to make this development uh, financeable and successful. And uh, it is just incredibly impactful to have a supportive uh, delegation in the House and the Senate uh, that have really been true leaders uh, for uh, affordable housing here in the state and, and across the nation. So I wanted to tip my hat uh, <laughs> to their leadership as well. Um, in the months and years to come, uh, we look forward to continuing to build on these local relationships uh, and build a lot more housing here in New Hampshire because uh, you know we need it and it really contributes to the community and we want to be part of that community. So thank you very much and Scott, I'll turn it back over to you. With that, we are concluding the remarks of our ceremony. And we're going to uh, break out uh, for groundbreaking photo opportunities. To my right outside the tent are the hard hats and the shovels. And I believe we have the ceremonial dirt behind us. Um, in group one, um, Tom Amdor, Stacy Kaplitz, Mayor Craig.
then maybe maybe round around that way a little bit more. Yeah, I like that. Thank <laughs> you.